Hey guys, welcome back to the Off Grid Project. Just wanted to go over with you uh, what I'm going to be using off the grid to uh, where my power is going to come from, etc. etc. So, I recently got this little inverter 400 watt continuous, 800 watt peak, Harbor Freight Special, 25 bucks after taxes. And there's the clips. That hook up to your batteries has two receptacles and a USB so this is a modified sine wave inverter so I'll give you an example here um, they recommend any computers and TVs be run on a pure sine wave inverter that's because uh, the pure sine wave produces a cleaner flow of energy electricity and if you have sensitive equipment like a computer or a TV um, they recommend the pure sine wave this this however is a uh, modified so in order to f to fight that what I'm doing is I have a monster power surge protector for uh, my home theater system and these things are expensive but they've dropped in price recently you can find them at like Princess Auto and stuff on discount overstock and stuff and what these do these are really high-end surge protectors and what they do is they will clean they advertise as they will clean the power um, before it's fed to your TVs or basically all your appliances that you hook up to this surge protector as well as a uh, it's I think it's got like 27,000 watt joule protection or uh, 2700 watt joule protection something like that so not only this is going to protect any surges you may get through your inverter it will also clean the modified sine wave power to a more of a pure sine wave uh, power coming through. So this is the surge protector I'm going to be using that I will plug in my television, um, Xbox One console, computer, um, boxy box, which is basically a box you hook up to your TV, making it a smart TV. Um, external hard drives, cell phone charger. I'm going to hook all my computer electronic equipment up to this basically. And this will be um, my main uh, protection for everything. So it's got a uh, ground protection light protection on. It's got a built in alarms when you do get a surge. Um, it even, you can ground. Um, your antenna and coax and stuff. Um, these, I don't know why this is, uh, I think these are just stickers because these don't do anything unless I can peel them off and it'll show. Oh yeah, they are stickers. Whoops. So I have to peel those off and get, uh, and, uh, test that out because we'll have a digital display there of what I'm using amperage etc um, does even your phone and everything's labeled like they got receivers main amp preamp television DVD blah 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 but you can plug anything into those now the other thing I like about this the monster power uh, surge protector uh, the model I'll give you guys the model it's the Home Theater Power Center HTS 2000 MK2. And the nice thing about this, it, it has a huge long cord and it's a beefy one. So that's going to work well off the grid. And basically this is the only thing I'll be plugging into this guy. Um because I can charge everything off of these ports. 
and I totaled up my in uh, my uh, power usage. I have the picture posted on the Facebook group. So if you guys haven't joined and checked that out yet, check it out. All my power usage, my estimate of what I'm going to be using total. And it's well under the 400 watts that this guy can handle, which is good. Um, it's about 100, let's say 140 watts if I round up. Total, if I had everything running. So this little guy can handle it. I have my bigger inverter for... Um, the window air conditioner, washing machine, um, water pump, etc., etc. Anything bigger, I'll go to that. So this is going to work out pretty good. I'll try it out um, when I'm off the grid and all set up. So that gives you guys an idea of how my power is going to run, how these things work. So this hooks up to your battery bank. 12 volt, 12 volts. I'm going to use the 12 volt battery bank system. Six batteries. Um, I'm actually going to connect those. The batteries will be connected. Um, my battery bank is kind of going to be kind of different. Um, I I posted the picture up as well on the Facebook page a while back ago. Um, I'm going to have since I have multiple panels and multiple charge controllers and the charge controllers can only do 30 amps at a time I divided it in three sections so um, two bat so I'm gonna have three charge controllers that feed two uh, batteries each so 200 amp hours each for each set of batteries they the battery bank will be separated like that they won't be all connected together that'll save wire costs as well and um, basically it's up there you can take a look at it tell me what you guys think of that too as well um, yeah so just wanted to give you a little update how I'm gonna use uh, my power and basically like just like your household you plug into your surge protector and away you go with all your appliances and you got to make sure you're you're all hooked up and your buttons on and this also has built-in alarms and stuff as well. So I don't think I'm going to have any problems, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, enjoy. Enjoy.